Hello YouTube viewers, it's Sincere Michael from Screen Productions, bringing you a new podcast to my seventh call, Are They Both the Same Thing? And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand it. Also, I will try to do my best not to breathe so hard during this recording of this audio podcast, not trying to cause any audio feedback as well. Also, if you case you're wondering what that noise in the background, that's just uh, that's just my roommate watching watching the TV in the living room. So basically, he said, "Well, it was hard to keep the uh, keep the volume of the TV in the living room uh, down as he could." Uh, now, anyway, let's get into this uh, podcast. Is Meteor Man and Blake Man both the same thing? Now, let's start off with Meteor Man. Now. <laughs> Now, Meteor Man is a ghetto, it's a ghetto, it's a ghetto bl- black superhero b- version of Superman. Now, in the city, in the city of DC, in the city of DC where the movie is set, a, a, a high school, a, 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 a teacher named, or a teacher named Jefferson Reed, played by Robert Townsend, is, is, is a teacher who lives in the toughest, toughest na- in the neighborhood in DC, run by, run by gang, run by gang who who is in a current gang war? Now, at the one night, at the one night, one night, you know, trying to help a student, you know, teaching some at the late night at school room program for for students, a meteor shower happened to happened to light up the DC sky. And so he stopped. He stopped and he st- he stopped to check out the meteor shower, but um, but a meteor, uh, a weird meteor came here, uh, came crash landing to Earth and accidentally hit him, hit him and done to severe uh, and to severe damage to his body and skin. But turns out the meteor, uh, the meteor that hit the Mr. Reed, it uh, has some unusual. Or has the usual side effects. Therefore, therefore, the next the next day, the doctors were hoping, saying his his face was badly burning because of the media. But what they the more the man was, he was perfectly fine. So it turns out the media the the media had a had gave him gave him superpowers so like. Like Superman, Superman. So, so he decided to he decided to uh, help for uh, the help of his fa- uh, father and his f- friend. He uh, friend. He decided to become a superhero called Meteor Man. <laughs> Cause you know, yeah, because he got hit by a meteor, so basically he called himself Video Man to use his to use his superpowers to try to stop the game, uh, the game violence in game violence in DC, and try to make it make his neighborhood neighborhood a safer place for for, for people uh, for for uh, not uh, good folks like him, and also try to save some and also try to save some game breakers from the life of a life of gangs as well. So basically 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 he basically he does he does uh, does try to do it do it but basically he got he got he got the attention of the uh, all the major gangs want him to want to find out who Midian is and but find out who Midian is and they want him dead. So basically that's just the whole but the one. Yeah, so basically, that's just a whole, that's the whole Meteor Man movie story arc in a nutshell. Now yeah, let's get to Blake Man. Now Blake Man. <laughs> And the Blake Man, the Blake, Blake Man is a ghetto super, it's a ghetto superhero version of Batman. A two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two brothers raised by their grandma, uh, raised by their grandma, who Daryl Walker, who played by Kevin, uh, uh, played by David Williams, and and Kevin Walker, his older brother, played by. David 
to ever grill with Ray Fire, their grandma, all their life in Detroit. <laughs> and they were all their life in Detroit. But when they, and so basically there was this, you know, there was this ad, average working Joe. <laughs> they all played by Danny Williams was the 80s, was a sort of a, a genius, but he worked at a fiction shop. And his older brother worked at a t worked at a TV station as a cameraman. So basically, they live in the poor. They live in they live in the poor. They live in the poor side of of Chicago or Chicago with their grandma. But until until one day, gram their grandma, Mrs. Grandma Walker, was helping helping a helping a helping a campaign for getting a new mayor directed. She was done the. Um, uh, <laughs> she was gunned down. She was go down in the campaign office by this monster and this man, man named uh, Mister uh, Teddy the Shoot. So basically, she was uh, the. Uh, so basically, 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 at the uh, at the bury his at the bury his grandma, David picked it, picked picked she deserved some justice. So basically, he he fit. So he became a crime fighter called Blake Man. He uses everyday he used everyday stuff to fight to fight the to fight the crime get to uh, get to. Uh, yeah. I can't shoot, uh, I can't shoot the, uh, fight client in Chicago City. It, it took a while for his brother to join, but you know, you know, he, uh, together, he, uh, together, uh, Dallas brother, who, who uh, 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 the, that brother came, the other guy, who's Bright Man's sidekick, together, they, <laughs> Together they they seek uh, and together they want uh, they seek revenge against the Teddy who killed their grandma who was trying to uh, trying to save the city by getting an honest mayor uh, mayor elected into office. So basically, that's for uh, that's where uh, that's Bright Man just uh, the Bright Man movie story. I got it. Uh, it, it, it that's the end. Of the, that's the whole Bright Man uh, movie story. I got in a nutshell. So anyway, let's see what these uh, both uh, both of these movies uh, both have in common. Now, now both movies were written by were written by by the by um, by the main star stars of these movies. Blake Man was written by was written by David Lynch, written by David Lynch, and and Neil Man was written by Robert Townsend. Both of both of both actors uh, both actors star in the main world. But David Lynch played play Dell Walker slash Blake Man. Robert Townsend played play Jefferson Reed slash slash Meteor Man. Now, now both now both both Robert Townsend and David Lynch are friends in real life. Real life. They are they are really friends in real life. So basically, that's it. Uh, uh, basically, uh, this, is, this is a true fact. They are friends. They are friends in real life. Both both of these movies are ghetto version of the most popular. Both of these movies are ghetto version of the most popular DC of the most popular DC heroes of all time, being Bat, being being Superman and Batman. So. so <laughs> you know, they be you know, but Mega Man is based on Superman and and Bank Man is based on Batman. Now Oh shit It's just a long day to me, so bear with me. So anyway <laughs> Uh, so anyway, that's what they uh, both had in common. Now, now uh, let's get into what they don't have in common. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, uh, both movies came out two two years apart from each other. Uh, from uh, meanwhile, came out in August. 
in August 6, 1993, and Batman came out on August 9th, the August 9th, and 1994. Now, both of both both the uh um but the Mini Man was the Man had superpowers. Great Man did not have no superpowers. <laughs> so did not have superpowers. And one more thing I a couple more things I figured out that they both have in common. Both movies came out on uh, on the same month, that being August. Both movies were set in the set in set, was set was set in was set in the most in the most dangerous neighborhoods during during that time period. <laughs> were Gang violence and war and crying wine, wang. But uh, medium man, medium man was set every was uh, was so uh, the movie was set in DC, <laughs> was set in DC. Black man, uh, the, the, the black man was set uh, was set in Chicago, <gasps> was Chicago. So the medium man was was still in DC and 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 black man was still in Chicago. Chicago, both of them. Both movies were uh, both both movies were were uh, were inspired by different uh, by different superheroes. Being Medium Man is a kid of, uh, it's a portrayal of Superman, and Blake Man was was a was a uh, was a portrayal of a Batman. So basically, it comes down to this: all these all these movies both the same thing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Even though, even though, even though they are, even though they get a bunch of uh, uh, pocket of superheroes, but these movies, but these movies are, but these get superhero movies are classic. They should, they did, should, even though they were funny, uh, funny as hell, but, but they did play, play, they did, they, they did play, portray a message that, uh, that David Williams and Robert Tennessee, who what the movies are so it's so that and, and it's a matter it's just a matter anybody can be a superhero or a superhero and and try to say, you know say the world to say say the world by one city at a time that's what the message. And that's from the both of these movie these movies. That's the method of they of, of these two movies portray betray. <laughs> So basically, he, so basically, Blake, Blake, uh, so Meteor Man and Blake Man are both the same thing, are the both the same thing. So anyway, come back next month, uh, I have something special for you guys. So anyway, this is Sister Michael from Studio Productions, I'm off one.